What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's Sparky617 here, and today I'm bringing you guys up part number two of our RimWorld Let's Play. Now, when we last left off, uh, I think we killed a bear. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. I think we killed a bear, and we got a ton of bear meat, and we made some meals. Look how many meals we have. Uh, we can see up here we have 16, and we have a dead rabbit, a dead squirrel, and a ton of farms. Uh, how, how, uh, how much... Okay, they're 75% grown, 43% grown, and 24% grown. So, we're about to get some rice. Um, now, actually, I do want to go ahead and say before I start this off, whenever, uh, in the last episode, whenever I was wondering what was getting hurt, and I thought we shot this, it was the bear and the, uh, the bear and the turtle fighting up here in the top corner of the screen. So, I figured I'd just let you guys know. Uh, we actually got this new settler... Last time she's butchering. What was she? What was she doing? Um, oh yeah, she was gonna be our cook and our warden. Okay, so we'll go ahead and let her do her thing. We're killing more animals, um, and I, I, I guess I forgot to point out like the overall goal of the game in the last episode. Um, so basically, the whole goal of this game is to you want to build a spaceship and go back into space. I. I don't know if you just build it and then you go into space and that's like it. You don't actually get to go into space. I don't know. I've never personally... I've never even really played the game except for, you know, it's only been out for a few days. So, man, he's trying to shoot that... Shoot that rabbit. Come on, just shoot it. Ah. Alright. So, one goal I do have is to build separate houses for everybody. So that everybody's a little bit happier. You know, they've got their own place to live. So... Let's see, what is a... Uh, I'm trying to see what's a 6x6. Six six. So, 6x6x6. Six by six by six. Okay. That's how big I want the houses to be. And then we'll leave a two-block gap. And we'll build another one. Okay. So, we're going to have to haul that out. Um, who is our hauler? Who's our main hauler? Victor. Okay, Victor, I want you to prioritize hauling that marble chunk. There we go. Get that out of the way. Um, we actually only need, what, one house for Victor, one house for Elsie and Decker, and one house for Ivia. And I want to keep this... I can make one of these a medical bed and one of it a prisoner bed so that we have good enough areas. Um, I guess we could just build this other one here. This is kind of actually the limit of where I want to build. Ooh, we can't actually build on that. Okay, can we not, um, can we not get rid of that? I don't think we can. So, uh, let's just go ahead and cancel. All, oh, I <laughs> did not mean to click all that. Um... All right, one, two, and then we'll do a six by six by six by six. And we'll just build one, one, two. And we'll just put one right here. That'll be good. So now we should have three houses. And they're actually getting to work on those pretty fast. Uh, we are going to need doors. Where should I put the doors? Um, hmm. I guess I could put them... Like that, and then I can just go ahead and build another house in anticipation of getting another person because I know we're eventually going to get one soon. So, there we go. And this is normal quality, that's normal quality, okay. Who is our... Okay, you're a seven, you're a five... So I want you to be our main constructor. Like, that's what job I want you to do. You are level 2 in constructing, but since you're hunting, I'm actually going to pop you down to a 3 and you down to a 3. So Elsie is our main constructor. Um, and I want to make sure that when I build new beds, I want Elsie to build them because the quality will be better and people will like them more. Uh, I guess I could actually build wooden flooring in these houses and for right now ooh I did not think um hold on we're gonna have to pause time here for a minute we're gonna have to build a sleeping spot uh for 
I via or via. I don't know if that's an I or an L. I don't know. Um, sleeping spot for her should be good for right now because, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and set her schedule to be even with everybody else's. We could go ahead and unpause time now. And put everybody to work and joy and sleep time. All right. And we're going to want an object to where they can get joy. So in the morning, sometimes someone will build a wooden horseshoe pen where they can go if they're feeling kind of sad. I want this to be your sleeping spot. Elsie Decker. So this can be Victor's bed for the moment. Um, tomorrow which is almost here. We're getting ready to head back to morning, and then today we should finish up all these houses and put everybody's new beds in there so they have their own spots now. Um, and then what we could do is make one of these the prisoner and one of these the medical ward. I think I might make... I think I might make the bigger one the medical ward. Because I could maybe put two beds in there and then put one as the prisoner. And everybody is doing their jobs. Perfect. You're building. You're hauling. You're hauling. And you are cooking. Perfect. Okay, so... Okay, I'll actually just let her do her thing for a little bit. Do we have... Okay, I don't think we have people chopping. Not that we need them. Uh-oh, what's going on? York... Oh, another Yorkie Terrier joined? Really? <laughs> what? What? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? Did they all join? You joined. You. Oh. Dude, they all joined. <laughs> if you see down here, it says the Lost Space Rangers. They all jo Oh my god. Guys, no way. <laughs> we, wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. We have an army of Yorkie Terriers. No way. No way. What the heck? Okay, well, I'm actually going to look at our zones. And I forget where our house is. I can't, oh, we're right here. Um, make sure our home area is... What? Why is that considered a... Did somebody plant down there? Okay, this is not our home area. Oh, there's a growing zone right there. Okay. Uh, our home area is going to be considered... All of this area, but I... I'm gonna set the animals to where they can only be in the home area. Because I do not want them getting killed. Because we're going to have an army of Yorkie Terriers. <laughs> oh, wow. That is hilarious. I, I've, in the 30-some hours of gameplay I have, I have never had an army of any type of animal come and join. So we're going to go to animals, and we're going to set home home, and just set all of these people to be home. Okay. Uh, I think the only person we have with handling is Derek. Perfect. So then what we can do is we can go ahead and train up all of these guys <laughs> in obedience. And I'm not going to put them on release because then they might just all go and get killed. But now all of our Yorkie Terriers should be coming over inside. Oh my god. And are they like loving each other? Because there's like... We have females and males. I think they're mating. Training obedience. Okay, good. So another one's obedient. So I don't think we can actually ever get rid of this steam geyser, but that's all right. What we could do is we could expand the farm two blocks this way and leave that steam geyser there. Wow. I cannot even believe... <laughs> that uh we have 25 simple meals so we are perfect on food we still have 27 squirrel meat 23 23 what kind of meat is that hair meat we only have two bear meat left she cooked all those up into meals i think i don't know whose house i want where i don't really think it matters that much but i will go ahead 
Uh oh. Cancel that. Um. Oh, it's only one guy. Okay. Is he attacking? I don't think he's attacking immediately. I think he'll kind of just chill out. Maybe he is attacking immediately. I didn't read it. Okay. Oh, he is attacking immediately. Okay, so you have a knife. You have a gun. So I want you to come here. I want you to come here. You can't do anything violent, can you? No. And you can come here. Okay. So let's get all of our people over here. Okay, Derek, you come right here, and Victor, you come right here. Start shooting. Don't shoot the Yorkie Terrier. Uh-oh. Yorkie Terriers. What are you doing? Uh-oh. No, go melee him. Don't shoot the Yorkie Terriers. Oh, okay. It's good. Never mind. Cancel what you were doing. Okay, ooh, he had um, medicine. That's good. We don't really need that, but we'll take it. Let's see... Is she useful to us at all? Mm, no, you are not. So, we're going to, um... We're going to put you out of your misery. And is she dead? Yep, okay. So, you're going to strip her. And then I will unrecruit all of you people. You can go do your jobs. We do need to make a grave site. Where we can bury... The people, because they will get upset that they have to look at bodies. And I'm thinking about... Hmm, I don't want to make the graves right on top of us. I don't want to make them too far away. You know, this will work. Alright, that'll work for right now. So, let's have... You... Okay, you are building the grave. Okay. Okay. And then I want you to... You're refueling the generator. Perfect. Now you're consuming a meal. Okay. Instead of you building a grave, while she's going to do that, I want you to start making the beds. So, do we have... How much steel do we have? 288. Okay, we'll build wooden for right now. I'll have you build a wooden bed there. A wooden bed there. And a wooden bed there. And I want to make sure... Oh. We need materials. Okay, we'll prioritize cutting that tree then. And then once you cut down that tree, we'll... Okay, we'll uh, prioritize cutting that tree too. Because I want to make sure that she builds the double bed. Because the double bed needs to be... The best quality we can get it. And you are doing so now. Okay, good. And it is quality normal. Okay, that's not amazing, but it's not terrible, so... And she is actually prioritized with cooking meals, which is good. And are you going to... No, I want you to cut this tree. And I want you to build this... Okay, you can't yet. Okay, so... Cut this tree as well. And now, can you build a bed? Yes, you can. Okay. So what I want to do is Elsie and Decker. We're going to go ahead and set Elsie, Decker. All right, those were the two, correct? Yeah, and then Victor. We'll put you right here. And however you say your name, Ivia. We'll just put you there. And that looks good. Let's go ahead and actually, before we do that, let's deconstruct... There we go. Deconstruct that. And you know what? Actually, we're just going to go ahead and make this house for the moment an animal sleeping house. Because we have so many animals that we need them to have. I don't actually know how many animals we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. So whenever they get tired, they can go and sleep in there. And we'll go ahead and deconstruct this. And why aren't you asleep? What are you doing? You're harvesting rice. Okay. That's weird. It's hour 22. Oh, it's considered joy time still. Okay, everybody else just went to bed early. Look, we're missing one doggy. Ah, what is he doing? Why isn't he going to sleep? Go to sleep, doggy. No, why isn't he going to sleep? Is he going to go to sleep? 
Go to sleep. Ah, oh, there we go. So there's everybody in our village. Look at all those dogs. So eight Yorkie Terriers joined today. We had one to start with. I don't even remember. We started with Noah. That's who we started with. And Decker has already trained up these ones. Who is... Oh. Okay, they still have to be trained. One, two, three, and four of them still have to be trained. But five of them are already trained. These will be able to haul into here later on. We might want to get a research table up and going. However, our researcher is also our hunter. So let's go ahead and before I build the research table, let's get as much hunting done as possible. Uh, we'll go ahead and cut that plant because I removed the... I removed the farmland from there. Okay, we'll hunt these deer. We'll take Decker and we'll prioritize hunting that buck. And let's see how he does. Did he kill it? No, it's not dead yet. I think it is now. Okay, he's still hunting. Good. Oh no, it's not dead yet. Oh wow, I thought it was dead. Oh, he's, man, he's putting a lot of shots into that thing. Wow. Why don't you move closer? <laughs> he's got all his dogs underneath of him. Look at him. Come on, man. Jeez. He's shooting all of the deer. All right. Okay, Decker, before you do that, go ahead and prioritize hunting that buck. Okay, and I don't know where the doe... Okay, the doe's right there. Hold on, Decker. Before you do that... Come on. Prioritize hunting the doe. Just don't shoot a boomeloper. They will explode. Oh, okay. I just didn't want him to shoot the boomelopes because they will explode. Uh, we'll hunt that squirrel too. And then we will start building a research table, which doesn't have to be inside or anywhere in particular, but we do want to production. Uh, I don't know what the difference in the wood and steel is, but I think steel does better, so... Since we have enough steel at the moment, we'll go ahead and just put it in steel. Uh, I don't know. We could actually just throw it back here in the corner, which will be perfect. And uh, Let's go ahead and see. Oh, you're hunting the buck. Elsie, you're our main crafter. That's what you are. All right, and you're actually building it. Good. She's making meals. You know, I might actually pop the meals up to 30 just because we actually have a lot of meals. And since they're in the cooler zone, they will spoil... Oh, they're spoiled in four days. Oh, I did not know they spoiled. Oh. It's it's like glitching out between four and five. Is it not cold enough in here? I don't know. Maybe we have to freeze them. No, I don't know. Does she actually get upset from working in the cold? I don't know how she's hot. She works in, like, a freezer. <laughs> and now we can begin researching. So as you can see down here, we can start getting ship computer cores and ship antimatter propulsion and stuff to build a spaceship. But we are far off from that. Right now, I'd say one of the things we want to get is stone cutting. Because... Whenever we get stone cutting, like, it doesn't take that much research. Since our tech level is industrial and that project is only medieval, it's only 300 um, points to research. And we'll be able to use these uh, these stones and stuff. Instead of having to hauling, haul them and leave them in the junk pile, we'll be able to, like, craft stuff out of them. So, I'd say... Oops, I went to the wrong thing. I'd say we should just go ahead and get stone cutting. And Decker should go ahead and actually... After he's done hunting, I think he's... Is he still... Oh, no, he's tr training dogs. Okay. He should actually go ahead and research. Uh, I think he is... I don't know what he's doing. Is he... Oh, he's getting more food. Okay, he's still training the dogs. I'll let him go ahead and train as many of them as he can today. Oh, he trained that one. Because once he... He can only train them once a day, so... If he fails today, that'll be give him another chance tomorrow. Alright, he trained that one. Who's idle? 
you have nothing to do. Um, I'll tell you what. Can she actually mine? Oh, yes, she can. Okay. Well, since you're idle, let's go ahead and just cut out some of this mountain here. And have her kind of just square that up. Because I, the one reason I want to get stone is because I want to start building like stone walls and stuff right here. And possibly, maybe even we could continue this wall uh, down through here to start making like a kill box. Uh, can we actually, because I don't think we can make any other types. No, we can't make like marble walls or anything at the moment. We have to wait until we get stone cutting. So we have yet to start researching on that, but tomorrow... Uh, what's happening? Visitors. Do you have anything to trade? No, you're just you're just gonna visit while I'm asleep and walk around. You have anything good? What is that? A pila. No, you just they got bows and clubs. All right. Well, we have no use for them, especially since they don't have anything to trade. I think I will actually go ahead and change up our researcher's priority. Uh, he doesn't need to grow anymore. He doesn't need to repair or construct, even. Uh, he just has to majorly hunt, train the dogs, and research. His hauling can be dropped by one. Uh, crafting... Is he a... He's our best crafter. Okay, we'll keep him as crafting. Plant cutting, okay. That should be good. So his first priority should be hunting and then training the dogs. And if he can do neither of those, he will come and research like he is right now. She will be making food, and then if she's ever idle again, she will go and dig marble. So a lot of this stone is actually marble, which will be able to build marble walls, I think. Um, what's going on? Okay, they're leaving. And these whiter chunks are marble, so we already have a decent amount of them in the chunk stockpile. Uh, where did you go? Oh, you're making more food, okay. Go ahead and clean up some of that marble, please. So her major priority is tending to the farms, which I would rather have her doing that than anything else. Actually, you know what, Elsie? I'm going to go ahead and drop you down. Oh, your growing is below your construction. Okay, we just have nothing to construct. I don't know what exactly I want to construct as of right now. Ooh, solar generators. I do want to get some of those. I do not know where I want to put them. Um, actually, you know what? If we mine this right here, and we get you to prioritize mining that marble, and we get you to mine that. Ah, why do they do that? I hate that. She just digs it halfway and then leaves because she acts like she has better things to do. No, you do nothing but what I tell you to. All right. Uh, we only have 188, so we can only make one for right now, and then hopefully we'll have enough steel to actually link it up. I think we will. Come on. I'm hoping we just have enough steel. Uh, I do not want this to be there, so we're going to have you prioritize mining this. And I know she's going to leave it here in a second. Yep, there you go, leaving it. All right, mine it. Just finish it. It's literally got, yeah, one more hit. All right. So we will connect these up. And then our solar generator will be providing more power to our things. And actually, I also do want to get some batteries. I do not think I'm going to have enough. Oh, I do have enough for one battery. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and put that battery right there. So tomorrow they will make that battery so that the extra power that we do not use will be stored in this battery. Alright, everybody should be getting ready to go to sleep. And who's not in bed yet? You, you're playing horseshoes. Okay, I'm guessing she's sad, so she's doing that. Let's actually check. How is everybody's needs doing? You're pretty happy, um, you're pretty happy, you're pretty happy, and you're pretty happy. Alright, everybody's pretty happy. That's good. Normally, 
the uh, the mental state of your people tends to be a very major concern. Uh, okay, simple meals are now frozen, so they won't spoil. Okay. I thought they didn't spoil. I wondered why it said they were going to spoil. So we might go ahead and actually put that up. Okay, now 30 is a good all-around. Oh my, that's kind of... Uh, let's go ahead and delete the zone off of that battery. Because I want you to move those potatoes. There you go. So I can see how much battery power that the battery has. Uh, even though there's a shadow on the solar generator right now, the solar generator is still getting maximum efficiency. Uh, do we actually have more? Is this compacted steel? Yes, it is. Okay, we're going to need all of that. Uh, we'll go ahead and set... Actually, you know what? For right now, since we don't know if all that inside stuff is compacted steel, we'll just mine what we know is compacted steel. There we go, because whenever we dig those away, there might be more compacted steel behind that. But hopefully you, once you harvest and replant and cook meals, which we already have 30, so she won't cook meals. Hopefully after you plant all those, you will go up and start digging at the compacted steel. Hmm. I don't know. How much research are we doing? Okay, you're doing good on the research, my man. You're doing a good job. Because then I want to go ahead and make sure we wall that off. Uh, at least... I don't know where we want to wall. Maybe if we wall it off here and connect it up to here. Like, make a wall going there and then down to there. And then, like, one to here. And then, like I said, try to make, like, the kill box right here, because then they could just kind of walk right through here and come up into the kill box. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, where are you going? Oh, we're being raided again. Did we ever pick up that body? I think we did, yeah. How many people? They appear to be unusually clever with their tactics. Oh, it's, it's one guy, and he's got... He's got a stabby thing. Is that a stab? Ac accuracy. Touch. Short. Range. Long. Okay. Oh, is it a throwing spear? Non-reusable throwing spear. Okay. So he's unusually clever. So we might get Derek to come up here. And we might get Elsie to wait here. And then, uh-oh, no, 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 cancel that. Um, Decker, you come here. Elsie, you come here. Uh oh no, 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 okay. Decker, fall back. Elsie, I want you to melee him. Because if you melee them, then they're unable to... Uh, they're unable to throw. Come on, melee him. There we go, stab him. Okay, he was trying to get the dog. That didn't work out. I don't even think he hit anybody. Oh, he's got... Is that pemmican? Yeah, it is. Pemmican is something that doesn't spoil for a really long time, as you can see. So even if it's not refrigerated, it doesn't spoil. Uh, he is dead. Was he a good character? Too smart, night owl, heat tolerant, incapable of nothing. He was actually a good, really good person. Uh, we could have captured him and used him as a prisoner. Oh, well. We'll strip him. Bury him. Uh, we will deconstruct that bed, because we're going to want two medical beds, and we can go ahead and actually make that a prisoner bed. I do actually want to move it, though, to this corner. So, oh, I left you guys in. I wondered why they weren't doing anything. I left you guys in. Why does that have a red arrow? Maybe it's just the blood. Okay, what, what, an emu is just sleeping outside the door of our... Oh, see, they're moving in closer. We might have to take them out. I think we might have to take those guys out really, really, really soon. Alright, is everybody... How long does everybody sleep? How long do you guys sleep until 5 a.m. you guys will be awake? Normally they wake up like an, a little bit before 5, I thought. Yeah, well, they wake up almost exactly at 5. So you guys will go ahead and sit down and eat. 
And what what are what are you doing? Oh, you're deconstructing the bed. Okay. And then you'll move that one. We'll go ahead and reset that one for prisoners. We'll go ahead and get two more wooden beds as medical beds. And there's actually a thing you can research known as medical beds. Uh, I'm probably looking at them. I don't know where they are. I don't see them. Hospital bed. Okay. Uh, it allows colonists to construct hospital beds, which increase the success of medical work. So, hopefully we'll be able to get those sometime. And then we will have better... Uh, see, this is why I don't like you to construct, because you're terrible. She made a poor bed when she made a normal bed. Okay. You know what? I don't, I don't like your bed. You know what? You're done being our constructor. Done. No more. Build another one. God. You're dumb. I wanted a good bed. There. See? A normal bed. Alright, so now we have medical beds. We have a prisoner bed. Next episode, we are going to kill these things. These muffalo. How many are there? There's nine right there. Oh, God. That might be a bad idea. How many? Oh, my God. And there's 14 up there. <laughs> That is going to be interesting to see. Oh, wow. And we might go ahead and expand this building to right here and be able to put our table back in a corner and put more chairs around it because not everybody is able to sit at the table and eat right now. But as of right now, that looks pretty good. Anyway, I want to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And don't forget to drop the bass. <laughs>